Okay, I'm going to talk to you about um, these wrap-ups that I use in my tutoring center, which are really great. Students love them. All of my students, no matter what age, they are just terrific. Got them for multiplication, division, adding, subtracting, adding fractions, foreign language, everything. And um, when I go to the math conventions, I like to pick up very unique items, and they use these in Japan, okay? And I like them better than flashcards, and so do my students. This is how it works. I've got an arrow over here at the top. Can you see that arrow? The number below the arrow is a 5. Okay, so all of these numbers over here on your left are multiplied by the center number, and the answers are to the right. Okay, and eventually you kind of time yourself, or you have someone time you. You can do that, but at the beginning you just do it, and, and it's great. So 5 times 3 is 15, so you look for the answer on the right. 5 times 3 is 15. You wrap it around the 15. See that? Then we've got the next one down, which is 6. So 6 times 3 is 18. Then you look for the answer on the right, and you wrap it around the 18. 3 times 3 is 9. You look for the answer. It's right up here. Okay. And then we've got 7 times 3 is 21. Put it over here. So you've got to get it right where the 7 is. 7 times 3 is 21. So you're going to wrap it around the 21. Just over there. And then the next one is 1. 3 times 1 is 3. See, 1 times 3, so you're going to wrap it up here. And then down here, 4 times 3 is 12. You're going to wrap it around the 12. What is 12? I'm reading upside down here. Right there. Okay, and then 8 times 3 is 24. Then you're going to wrap around the 24. To the right, all the answers are on the right. 2 times 3 is 6. The answer is here, 6. Then you've got the next one down, which is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 to your right. You find it. 11 times 3 is 33. Where's the 33? It's over there. I'm going to wrap it around the 33. Then 10 times 3 is what? 30? 30 is over here. Then we've got 12 times 3. What's that? 36, right? So you go over there, and then you click it down here, and then you check your work. Flip it around, check your work, and how you do it is you move these little strings, and below them, if they all match up, you've got it right. I sell these, so if you'd like to buy one, you may email me at mathsuccesstutor, that's M-A-T-H-S-U-C-C-E-S-S-T-U-T-O-R, all one word, at AOL.com, and uh, you can buy these from me. I do sell them at discounted prices, okay?